The Read to Lead Podcast, Episode 87. Hi there, this is Ray Edwards from RayEdwardsPodcast.com, and you're listening to one of my favorite podcasters, that's Jeff Brown, the creator and host of the Read to Lead Podcast. Welcome to the Read to Lead Podcast with Jeff Brown. Jeff believes that if you desire to achieve true success in business and in life, then consistent and intentional reading is a must. The Read to Lead Podcast will not only help you narrow this ever-important reading list, but also bring you key insights and valuable features feedback from some of today's most successful and inspiring authors. And now, here's Jeff. Hello there and welcome to the podcast that is dedicated to your personal and professional growth, where we sit down with a successful and inspiring business or nonfiction book author, and we talk about their unique insights in areas like leadership, business, personal development, productivity, marketing, career, entrepreneurship, and more. Now, about a month ago, we veered off the beaten path to talk about my five favorite author-hosted business podcasts. Today, we're veering off the path yet again in the sense that we don't have a guest slated for today. However, I am very excited to tell you about a Leadership Lessons from the Movies series I'm participating in this summer, along with a number of other bloggers and podcasters. It's called Real R-E-E-L Leadership. I know, pretty clever, right? By the way, I did not come up with that. People much smarter than me came up with that name. But suffice it to say that throughout the summer, each of us is seeing a blockbuster film and extracting from that film the leadership takeaways. Some of the films from the series thus far include The Avengers, Age of Ultron, and Tomorrowland. You can also look forward to installments featuring the new Pixar film Inside Out, Terminator Genesis, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation coming out in late July, and the reboot of Fantastic Four. In the show notes page for today's episode, I've linked to the posts and podcasts already contributed to this series thus far, and I will continue to update that post throughout the summer as more are added. You can find that, by the way, at readtoleadpodcast.com slash 087. Well, the movie I was assigned just came out this past Friday called Jurassic World. And in just a moment, I'll share the five leadership lessons I've extracted from that film. Before I do that, I want to give you a little sneak peek preview into next week's episode. I am excited, thrilled to let you know that I have scheduled for next week former White House Press Secretary Dana Perino. She's also a Fox News contributor, co-host of The Five on Fox, and author of the new book, And the Good News Is. In fact, I'm supposed to be receiving my copy of the book in the mail today, so I am excited about reading it and excited about being able to have you join me next week for my chat with Dana Perino. And now for my installment in the Real Leadership Series, Leadership Lessons from Jurassic World. Lesson number one. Your customer wants to be wowed. You need to ask yourself if you're creating experiences for them that they can't help but share with their friends. If you can't definitively say yes in response to that question, then you need to take a close, hard look at what you're doing. To successfully wow your customers, you've got to be willing to continually iterate and improve. In other words, never rest on your laurels. Now, directly related to that is leadership lesson number two. Sometimes you just have to jump. Now, while wowing your customer is certainly a good thing, sometimes, especially with the launch of something new, when attempting to wow your customer, perfectionism can sneak in. And when it does, well, that often leads to procrastination. So if you're working on a new project, be willing to ask yourself some tough questions. Yes, you want to wow your customers, but are your attempts at making it perfect really just an excuse not to launch? And I know it's tough. Occasionally, it's necessary to ship something you may feel is not quite ready for prime time. Uh, LinkedIn founder Reed Hastings is noted for saying that if six months after launching something, you, you look back on it and you aren't a little bit embarrassed by it, you probably waited too long to put it out there. Leadership lesson number three from Jurassic World, stay calm. No matter how crazy things get, 
An irate customer publishes their dissatisfaction on social media or a key vendor goes belly up and you have to start at square one or a newly created hybrid dinosaur is on the loose in your new park. It's important to keep your wits about you. If you're in a leadership role, especially, it's safe to say others are going to be looking to you to set the example. Maintaining your composure as best you can is key. Leadership lesson number four, and it happens to be named from one of my favorite lines in the film, is simply, Raptors got a new alpha. As hard as it may be to hear, when it comes to our jobs, nearly all of us are replaceable. But I don't necessarily believe we need to think of that as a bad thing. In fact, I think one mark of a great leader is somebody who has designed a system and a company that works just fine when they're not there. While popular thinking might suggest that you design your job and your role in such a way that certain aspects of the company just can't function without you, I argue that that is an ultimate recipe for disaster. The more willing you are to surround yourself with the right people, people who can do those things you've actually hired them to do and keep the company going when you're not there, the better off the company will be and the better off your career will be. Be. It reminds me of one of my favorite books from former guest Liz Weissman, Multipliers, How the Best Leaders Make Everyone Smarter. Hire the right people, leverage the collective brain power of the room, and when you do, they'll be equipped to run things smoothly and efficiently, even when you're not there. And in that scenario, everybody wins. And finally, the fifth leadership lesson from Jurassic World and arguably the single most important one of all, relationships trump everything. As a full-time podcast coach and mentor, I'm often sought out for advice. People ask me things like, how did you get iTunes to add your show to one of their featured collections? Or what was the key to launching a successful online course? And in nearly every instance, the answer comes down to one thing, relationships. For example, if you often struggle to find the motivation to reach your goals, or maybe you even struggle with enough motivation to set goals in the first place, the answer to all your ills, I argue, is relationships. Something as relatively simple as surrounding yourself with people who have similar goals and aspirations will pay huge dividends. Now, this can take the form of something like a mastermind group where you're meeting with several people on a regular basis, or it can be as simple as you finding one other person to whom you're comfortable being held accountable. I consider the act of being very intentional with who I spend my time with to be the single biggest reason for any and every success I personally have had over the last two years. Again, to check out the blog posts and podcast episodes from others participating in this Real Leadership Series, visit the show notes page for today's episode, readtoleadpodcast.com slash 087. I'd love to get your feedback on this series. You can comment on the show notes page. You can also write me, jeff at readtoleadpodcast.com. And don't forget to join us next week when our guest will be Dana Perino. Well, that does it for this week. I look forward to seeing you next time for the Read to Lead podcast. Thanks so much for listening to the Read to Lead podcast. As a subscriber, we challenge you to be more than just a passive listener. Become a vital member of the community. Visit us on the web at readtoleadpodcast.com. Until next time, remember, leaders read and readers lead. Oh, 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 oh,